Hello, my name is Sir Basplow and welcome to Quarantine Vlogs. So it's been a while since I've posted my last video and the reason for that is that I was actually taking a little break from YouTube. If you read the description in my previous video, you know this. But anyway, I was taking a little break. My work has been very intense for the past few weeks. I've been really busy and I haven't had much extra time to do anything creative and I didn't want to because I don't want to burn out. That's why I was taking a break and also I popped a blackhead on my forehead. Maybe you can see the hole here and my face looked pretty much horrible for some days so I didn't want to film during that time. Now it's maybe okay. And speaking of my face, as you can see, I have a quarantine beard growing up as well as my hair and I actually hate my hair at the moment and I would really like to cut it but I don't want to go to a barber so I was thinking maybe I should do it myself but that's a super risky move and it might ruin my whole head so let me know if you would like to see me cut my own hair and make my life miserable. Anyway, life has been quite uneventful for the past three weeks. We have been self-quarantined with Yerina at home. We're working from here. We're doing everything here, so nothing much happens. Mainly we've just been playing Animal Crossing and working. I tried to avoid the game, but I, in the end I ended up buying it and it's it's so good, it's so damn good. We did go to a supermarket the day before yesterday in the morning. As you can see, we got winter overnight again. It was so springy only yesterday, but now there's so much snow. And we're walking to the store. It's almost eight o'clock in the morning. We want to get, we want to avoid the crowds and people, so we go first thing in the morning. And we're gonna buy a lot. We're probably gonna die carrying all of them because we don't want to take a bus. But now we gotta go to the store. And when we get back home, I'm definitely gonna enjoy my first coffee of the day. I already need it. Was this a mistake? No, it wasn't. We're I dying though. I have hair in my eye and I can't touch my face. <gasps> it wasn't a mistake, but my shoulders are so dead even still. And drawing eight hours a day is pretty much hell when you have dead shoulders. Also, a couple of days ago I was taking photos of one of my favorite figures outside and when I came back in, I noticed that I actually damaged it and that's really annoying. As you can see, the hair strand broke and it's really pissing me off now. At least the photos turned out great. But yeah, if you want to see the photos, go check my Instagram account. Latte has become such a big boy. He's like the size of Inku now and almost the size of Mokka. Probably heavier than Mok. I mean, look at him. He's a big boy. Or a big boy. Anyway, he's such a lovely cat. I mean, he's still a little rascal, but he's the cuddliest little baby ever. What the? Hey. Oh, he's ugly. Oh, ay, 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 ay. You can just hold him however you want, and he doesn't mind. I mean, look at this. This morning when I woke up, like the second I woke up, I guess I turned a bit and I didn't realize Latte was sleeping right next to me over here and he fell down on the floor and that woke me up properly. <laughs> Such a loud noise. Then he just fell asleep on the floor. <laughs> Little cutie, cutie, cutie. Oh, and Kuromatsu is officially dead now, thanks to the cats who, or the cat who ate him in the first place. So let's take a little moment to remember the good times, the good two days we had with this little baby. Kuromatsu-chan! There 
there's gonna be a bonsai tree. There goes my bonsai, god damn it. Rape. To our Japanese friends, Masaru-san, Takuma-san, Kazuna-san, and Tetsuya-san, I couldn't take good enough care of your little present. So I guess I should talk about the situation here in Finland. Um, our capital area is on full lockdown at the moment. The rest of the country is like open, but social distancing is supposed to be practiced and um, like avoiding people in general. Yerina and I are both working from home. We haven't even seen anyone in like four weeks or three weeks now. So we're doing our best to work on this, to solve this issue. We could go outside and sometimes we do, but the thing is now that people can't go anywhere, they all are walking the same hiking trails or the forest trails we usually go to where nobody was before and now they're full of people and they don't really respect the two meter rule and there's groups of people which doesn't make any sense and it's really annoying to go there so our preferable times to go outside are like first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening and it's not fun in the dark so yeah, that's super annoying and same thing going to a grocery store is such a pain in the ass when you can tell people don't respect the rules, they don't listen to them and you're trying so hard, it's frustrating. Oh well, we can't really go jogging now, but we did find a solution for that and we actually ordered ourselves a treadmill and it was supposed to come yesterday, but now I have no idea when it's coming. So now we're just waiting. So I just got an email about the treadmill from the supplier. Apparently their warehouse is completely empty. They are sold out and we can decide whether we want money back or we'll get the treadmill in June, which is in like, what, two months. Yay, I guess we're not gonna run at home then. We have been working out at home quite a bit and we'll probably do that today as well. And speaking of being home, overall this all hasn't affected us that much personally because other than working from home because we pretty much spend all of our spare time at home anyway, so this is kind of normal for us anyway. And Yerina almost always works from home anyway, so <laughs> not much of a difference in that sense. Good thing is that we actually like being here. We're both pretty introverted and yeah, being at home is fun. We have video games, we have art stuff, movies, Netflix, we have cats. The cats help a lot. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep doing this kind of videos. And actually, I have one video from a few weeks back waiting for editing. I didn't have time to finish it and I am like considering whether I should post it at all. So if you want to see more nature stuff and less uh, home stuff, let me know in the comments below and I'll post that next. And also, if you would like to see me slowly turning into a Robinson Crusoe by growing my beard and my hair as long as this lasts, let me know. And if not, let me know if you want to see me cut my hair and ruin my life. Oh, and one last thing. What's your favorite thing to do while you're at home, quarantined or whatever? What is your recommendation? For me, I would suggest learn something new. I actually started a character drawing course on Udemy by Scott Harris and I have really enjoyed it and learned a lot, even in a small time. So my recommendation is learn something or learn drawing. <laughs> to be specific, it's really easy for anyone to pick up and start doing. Everybody has a pen and paper, right? Anyway, let me know what's your no, top thing to do while being at home. I guess that's it for now. I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed it, give it a little thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and like my content, subscribe, ring the bell, do all the stuff you already know what to do. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Best flow out and 
here are some kitties for you. good to be outside running and it's so warm so damn warm it's also raining but it's warm <sighs> spring Ooh, let's go still too many people though would be nicer to run if there was a little bit more space <sighs> oh well at least it's warm I just ran past somebody who is pushing a carriage forward and I didn't even realize it at first that instead of having a baby in the carriage there was a tiny dog, a Pomeranian I think and that was the cutest thing I've ever seen More of this, we all could use a little Pomeranian in a carriage Okay, almost done, four kilometers, time to go, let's go!